Today marks the 10 year anniversary of the plane crash into the Echelon building in Northwest Austin. The pilot, 53 year old Joseph Stack, took off from the Georgetown Airport and intentionally flew into the office that housed the IRS. It happened during the morning hours of Thursday, February 18th, 2010. The plane hit the second floor in the break room of the IRS office. Witnesses say the entire building shook. I saw the plane come in at an angle under full power. It flew right across the road, hit that building across the street with a massive boom. The window next to me was just a firebomb. I look out my window and there's this plane coming straight at me through this window. Nearly 300 people were inside at the time of the crash. They scrambled to get out of the building, which was on fire. Several people were called heroes for jumping in to help everyone evacuate. Robin DeHaven was working a block away when he heard the crash. He and another man rushed to the scene to do what they could to help. We got to the building, saw the people, they're yelling for help now. And I could hear them and I'm telling them, I have a ladder, I'm coming, we're going to get you. They ended up saving the lives of six people. DeHaven was honored with special coins from Austin Police, Austin Fire, and Austin Travis County EMS for his courage. APD officers Benny Sanchez and Abel Garza were patrolling about a mile away and rushed to the scene to keep people away. And a Travis County hazmat team was nearby preparing for a practice drill. They were able to get to the site quickly and use their limited resources to work on putting the fire out until backup arrived. Two men who worked in the building next door risked their lives by going inside the burning building after hearing cries for help from the stairway. And all of a sudden, I felt like a sonic boom, and I, I didn't know what had happened. And I was kind of alarmed, and we were, all everyone was kind of looking at each other, and we ended up going out into the hall, and someone said there was an explosion. And I saw people hanging out the windows, a lot of windows blown out, and it reminded me of 911. We knew we couldn't use the elevators, so we started trying to go up the exit stairwell. There were some people that were coming down it, so we started working our way up it, but it was so dark you couldn't see anything. But the overpowering thing was the smoke. It was uh, very acrid. It was burning, you know, your, your nostrils. So um, we got up to about the second level, the second floor area there, and there was a lady coming down, and Bill grabbed her. I think Bill and I looked at each other later that afternoon and said, you know, Maybe that wasn't such a smart thing to be doing, to run into a burning building like that, but you, you just do it immediately. IRS manager Vernon Hunter was killed in the attack. The Vietnam veteran was buried at Fort Hood with full military honors. Shane Hill, an investigator for the state comptroller's office, suffered severe burns and was treated at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio. Stack was also killed in the crash. The unemployed software engineer left behind an angry suicide note expressing frustration at the IRS. California state records show Stack's IRS trouble started after two of his startup software companies were suspended by the state's tax board in the late 80s and again in 2001. The same morning of the plane crash, firefighters responded to Stack's house, which was engulfed in flames. Witnesses reported hearing a loud explosion before the fire. A woman and 12-year-old girl, believed to be Stack's stepdaughter, were rescued by a neighbor. Federal officials labeled the crash as an isolated act of terror. The Echelon building was repaired and has since reopened. The IRS office moved to a new location.